Somebody says check Twitter. I'm gonna check Twitter in a second. Damn. I've gave so much time already, and I still didn't even get to some of the stuff I do want to get to. I am. Okay, so what I'm reading is is um the motion got accepted. The motion did get accepted. And by the way, congrats to our young boys team. I'm telling you, the feds getting their ass kicked. We've never seen a rapper led um campaign kick the feds ass as much as what we're seeing here. They're beating the feds ass. Oh, oh, your honor, ooh, ooh, we got young boy with a gun. Okay. Where's the gun I got him with? This is the gun right here. Okay, how do you know he had the gun? Like, you have a witness? Um, and We have a few people in, in the cribs that called that said they'd seen a bunch of Negroes. Okay, was it only one black person there? Y'all saying it was a bunch of black people, right? Like, like how could you identify it was him? Actually, some of the phone calls said it was black guys with long dreads. Does the defendant have long dreads? Young boy, could you stand up real quick? Can we look at you? Oh, you don't got long dress. How do y'all know? So the witness can't say it was young boy with the gun. How do you know he had a gun? Well, 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 um, um, they were doing a music video. And and they got footage. Like we got the proof. Okay. You know what young boy lawyer said? Well, y'all were being prejudicial when y'all showed up and started going through all our shit without the proper warrants. The phone call reporting the crime had nothing to do with y'all searching. And doing the extra shit, y'all really abused our rights. That's what they told the judge. You know what the judge said? They're right. <laughs> Throw out all the evidence that y'all got on SD card. And the, so now the federal prosecutor's like, what the fuck? That's our only mother. All right, cool. We, we got some more shit. All right, let, let's drum some shit up. What well, that nigga always talking about, he got the guns on him. Let's just bring the lyrics in of him saying he got the guns. The judge looks at that today and says, bro, it's art. Get the fuck on out of here, man. You you, you want to use the fact that he rapped about some shit to say he had a gun? What the fuck is the prosecutor's next chance, like, next thing? By the way, the DNA which they had can't tell a fucking thing. I'm going to keep it real with you. But, but the feds seem so thirsty. They seem thirsty. They want him. They want him so bad. But in reality, yo, the fed, yo, just let that nigga go, bro. Like y'all doing too much. Like let me let me let me give you another thing that I've realized, right? So the feds, the feds have like unlimited budgets. The reason why people also say when the feds come in is that, put like this, to catch somebody in a RICO, right? Like, for example, let's say, let's go to the 6 9 indictment. Bro, they picked up 6 9s driver, Jorge. They said, bro, we know you illegal immigrant. We finna deport your bitch ass. They said, matter of fact, we got your family over there, too. We picked them up, too. Oh, y'all going back to Mexico, nigga. Uh, you know what I mean? Viva la Mexico. Get your ass over there, nigga. You about to dip. You know that nigga said, oh, ondale, ondale, ondale on me. Hold on, hold on. He said, listen, we get your bitch ass out of the United States unless you help us. It's real talk. And we about to charge you with a crime, so you going to be deported, deported, nigga. So we might just give you three years off the rip. And then when you get out, we just fucking toss your ass over the Mexican border, nigga. You know what he said? Because he realized, nigga, I'm not no fucking Treyway member, nigga. I got hired to drive. He said to the cops, I'll cooperate. What do you want? What do you want? They said, all right, check this out. What's the SUV you drive? I bet. We're going to fucking hook this shit up with the... Yo, they had... Nigga, they had the... Nigga, that shit looked beyond bait car, nigga. They had nine camera angles. They had fucking, like, motion detectors. 
They had all type of mics. Nigga, they had a better microphone. That, that's what, nigga, they had so much mics in that fucking car. They had better mics than what I got right here, bro. The feds was spending bread. So I'm trying to give you the difference between the feds and the state. Nigga, the state has limited personnel. Like, also, they had niggas staking out. You know what 6 9 told me one time? He said, I kind of knew the feds was on to me. Every day I would go out, there'd be like eight different cars with like no labels on them just sitting out there. And I couldn't see none of them. I'm like, what the fuck? They were just sitting out there. They got money. You imagine the amount of overtime and all that type of, this is a special assignment just to take down one person. They're sitting out there 24 hours a day. That might be 40, 50,000 a day in what that agency is spending to catch them niggas. The feds could do that. Nigga, the state, they cheap asses, nigga. The, 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 the most is they're probably just hoping that, bro, just please talk on the phone because we can have a couple people monitoring the phone. That's it. The feds got a lot more resources. You get what I mean? That's the point I'm trying to tell y'all. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, ain't no joke. Okay, but yeah, but I've never seen the feds get their ass. Like, the feds, they're getting embarrassed by young boy, which is kind of crazy. Like, embarrassed. Remember, the feds got Gucci. He took the gun charge. Wasn't it the feds who, um, or maybe it wasn't. Was Kevin Gates the feds? Like, the feds have fucked up a lot of people. Anyway, um, I'll circle back to any young boy situations soon.